Hello. Happy Friday. I was going to wait till the song was done to come on, but then I looked at the song and it has like two more minutes and I'm like, eh, I don't want to wait anymore. Um, let me close this over here. I hope everybody's Friday was good. Mine was fine. I had a relatively easy day of work and read a lot of my book. Um, so if you don't know, I'm rereading Lord of the Rings. I only have like two or three chapters left. Yeah, so I'm kind of like in that book haze. I don't know if anybody else gets that. But we're like... When I've been reading for a while or like I'm really into the book, coming back out of the book <laughs> to the IRL world can be a little bit hard. Um, I'm definitely finishing the book tonight because like I said, only have a few chapters left. I do want to read all of the appendices, but that probably won't happen until Sunday. I would say tomorrow, but tomorrow... Um, what am I doing tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm going on a coffee date with my husband. And then we are going to Lowe's. Yeah, Lowe's for the long board that goes across the built-in shelves that we have made to complete that. I feel like there is another errand, though. Oh, I have to go to, the, uh, to Whole Foods tomorrow, too. And then... At 1 p.m., we are going over to my in-laws because we're going to the zoo. Um, so I'm excited about that. I always like going to the zoo. But I think for now, I'm just going to pull up Lightroom and start sorting through photos. Of I looked up how to say this place because I feel like I always say names of Greek places wrong. It's Shania. Not Shania. Like I have been saying, but it's Shania. At least that's the closest I can get it. When I was listening to the pronunciation of it, it was more like a throaty, like, Hanya? Hanya? I don't know. But I'm just saying Shania because... I don't know. I don't know how to say it the proper way. Okay. Let me go to sharing. Woohoo. Okay, so first I have to pick which ones I want to import. So, this is from driving out to Shania, and because I'm a nerd, the way that this town is like built onto the side of the mountain and it's all white, I mean like, if you didn't already get that I'm rereading Lord of the Rings, it reminds me of Minus Tirith. Hold on. Where's my little arrow? Do I just go up merp? Okay. Merp. Merp it is. Merp, merp. Don't think I'm going to do this one. My eye focuses more on that front dead, like, bush thing than it does... The town. I think that one I just took for my sake. I was like, wow, there's a fire down there. Click. Because I have issues. I did uncheck it, right? Okay. It, like, holds on to the check mark when I go to the next picture sometimes, and I'm like... We'll keep that one... They will literally grow olive trees anywhere. And I find it amusing. Oh, the cat. Hmm. 
No. Not sure why I took that picture. I wish I had gotten lower for this shot. Like, more on their level. But I sucketh greatly, and I did not. So, we went to the Starbucks because I thought I collect those little you were here or whatever mugs, but not the mugs, the ornaments. And I had gotten it in my head that each of the islands had their own little ornament. Turns out that's not the case. <laughs> really, like, it's only by, um, like, I think the only ornament for Greece is the Greece one. Like, there's no specific island or city. I don't even think there's an Athens one, just a Greece one. But for some reason, I thought there would be a Crete one, so, like, we went and stopped in multiple Starbucks looking for one. And then came to this one in Shania and did not find a Crete one, but found a Cyprus one, which is not apparently a part of Greece. I think I'd looked it up, and it's its own country. I had always thought it was a part of Greece. Yeah, Cyprus is its own country. Officially, the Republic of Cyprus is an island country in the eastern Mediterranean Sea, north of the Sinai Peninsula, south of the Anatolian Peninsula. Yeah. But for some reason, I had always thought that it was, it was part of Greece before. But I bought it anyway. Because why not? Hi, Andy. How are you? Welcome on in. Hope your week went well. That needs to be brightened up a bit. Oh no. Veggie tails. All thanks to one fire. This kit brings me joy when it comes on. It's been an interesting one. May I ask why it's been an interesting one? Um, how's you? I am good. I am good. Hope this week has been good. It's been pretty good. Um, work hasn't been too strenuous. I've been doing a lot of reading this week. I'm almost done with Lord of the Rings. It's the second time I've read it. Um, which means I have forgotten a lot of those, like, smaller details or things that varied from the movies because I've watched the movies a lot. Um, so reading it through now, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's not how it happened in the movies. Like, which like, I know, like, obviously there's going to be things like that, but some things I'm like, they could have left it the same as the book, but whatever. I mean, a, a movie will never be a perfect representation of the novel it's based on. Or written work it's based on. You haven't read it all in over 20 years? <laughs> well, the first time I read it... Would have been more than 10 years ago? You listened to Fellowship and some of Two Towers last year? Very cool. Like, audiobook? Is that what you mean? Okay, that's that. I only want to keep one of these lighthouse ones. So I'm like, which one? This one? That reminds me, I have to clean my lens and my sensor before tomorrow because I'm going to be taking pictures at the zoo. No time to read these days. So I get up at 6 a.m. for work every day. Like I start work at 6 a.m. Because I work 6 to 3, my time. And, um, we have, my husband and I have made it a habit that I will take a break in the morning after I do all of my reports 
and we will eat breakfast and we will read. <laughs> and I, my goal is for that to continue as best as it can after, um, after we have our little girl. Like, maybe during her morning nap or something, you know? Because, like, newborns sleep a lot. And then we'll have to adjust from there. But, yeah. <laughs> I think so. It's nice. And, um, my husband is also lamented on the fact that he feels like he doesn't have enough time to read. So, taking that little bit of time every morning to, even if it's just... I say just one chapter, but you and I both know that some chapters are long. Um, I don't know. It's been it's been a very peaceful way to like start our days. It's very nice. Oh, Bill. One fire coming up in here and making me eat farrot. Would you like me to eat grapes or an apple one fire? Also, hello. Happy Friday. Hope you are well. Oh, and I only read Lord of the Rings once the films are coming out so I could get the spoilers. Uh, Fellowship of the Ring was a slog until I had seen the film. So... Okay, so it's funny that you say that. So, I am well aware that Lord of the Rings is, like, one of those slower reads. But I enjoy it. Like, the way that he gets into details of everything, that's the type of writing I enjoy. Um, but the movies, if you watch the movies, like especially the extended versions, like, there's a lot of movie time where, like, not a lot is happening. Kind of, like, the books, like, when they're, you know, adventuring and, like, things are going into detail, things like that. There's a lot of that in the movies. So it greatly amuses me that people hate on the Rings of Power because not a lot happens until the last few episodes. I'm like, the movies were the same way, whether or not people realize it. I understand a lot of people hate Rings of Power because, like, it goes against some of the um, source material, but, like, I don't know. I don't know. I like Rings of Power. I enjoy it. I am easily amused. I will put that out there, but I do enjoy it. Pick the fruit that is closest to the nearest furry thing. Okay, well, none of none of my furry things are in here, but the grapes are closest to the door, which would mean that the grapes are closest to the furry things. <laughs> you loved it once you were... Yeah... And you didn't hate Rings of Power like some did. Some people really hated it. And I'm like. Hmm. I enjoyed it. I am really interested to see, though, by the time they get to the end of it, how they transform Galadriel from this warrior woman who is like dead set on a mission to just being like I'm gonna go live in the woods and live out my days being the ruler of Lorien Pretty sure that's a little cat door on the bottom of the big wooden door. It'll be canceled before they need to think about that. See, I've thought about that. But I have heard that, like, they signed on for the five seasons, like, so they have to do five seasons. I don't know. But, <laughs> but that's what I heard.
I don't think they're going to get like seven years to do what they want. I do not know. But I thought I had seen something where they have to do five. But who knows? Contracts and the film industry are breached all the time, I feel like. You know, I was always told that green grapes are sour. These are actually pretty good. I heard they had like six or seven seasons planned out. I doubt it as they supposedly pivoted huge for season two. Oh, I haven't heard anything about season two. When does season two supposed to be... Um, when is it supposed to be released on Prime? I have no idea. It's this year, right? <laughs> I think it's this year. Sorry, I'm not done with my grapes. I just finished that one little thing. But I saw one grape earlier on the bunch with mold on it, so I'm, like, checking them all. Maybe the summer? Mm. Hi, Toasty. How are you? Welcome on in. Hope you had a good week. Oh, see, like this grape. That grape is bad. Happy Friday. There's been a few mentions recently, so maybe they're gearing up for it sometime this year. I thought it was 2024. Because I think... Yeah, because the first season came out in 2022 because my nephew was a newborn. <laughs> we would do um, watch parties at my house. Hold on, I'm going to Google it. Rings of Power Season 2. I don't know what is happening over on Lightroom. I'm not doing anything, but it keeps moving. Stop. What are you doing? Stop. Um, it just says 2024. Never mind. The production for Season 2 was completed before the um, sag after a strike. But it does not say one in 2024. It just says 2024. Happy Friday, Toasty! How are the picture editing going? Uh, slowly. I'm still selecting which ones I'm gonna be touching up in Lightroom here. You ordered deep fried fish for dinner? <gasps> Yum. Fish Friday. You need to go get it? Well, enjoy. Enjoy your fish. I appreciate you stopping in. I really, really want walleye. I wish I could have walleye as often as I did back in Minnesota. Or like superior trout. Ugh. Hi, Bun Bun Beck. How are you? Happy Friday. You are well popping in to say hi. I appreciate you popping in. I love it when people say they're popping in. I always like to say it like popping. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm posh or something. Fishing? You're going on a fishing trip this weekend, One Fire? Is that what I'm understanding? Thank you for the lark bag. 
No, that's the only way I know how to kill walleye. Oh. <laughs> I got you. What are you doing this week on one fire? Any big plans? Yes. Yes to the big plans. Oh my god. How many am I clicking? I want this one to not be. And I want this one to be. Okay. Ooh. I have big plans, huge plans, the biggest plans, huge. There are some plans. Ooh. I think I like that better. Blip. You can see Warlock's hand in the bottom left <laughs> corner there. He's very, very good about, like, stopping when I lift up my camera, but if I'm walking behind him, obviously he doesn't know when I lift up my camera. And then I have to go, Beb! Then he usually stops and looks at me and is like... He's a good noodle. I wish I could have been, like, on the same level as those windows. Your plans are rest and recovery, video games, and maybe some tasty treats. Um, what kind of tasty treats? Video games, I'm going to make assumptions, knowing you. I'm going to assume that video games include perhaps Stardew with the new release that they came out with and Minecraft. Those are my assumptions. And I would be wrong. <laughs> okay. What are, um, what video games are you playing then? You're like, mm mm. Oh, yeah, this one I want to merge with this one. We'll have to do that in Photoshop. Stardew release is only for PC Steam. Don't you have Steam, though? And Microsoft PC, not console. Until June. Oh, they released um, a date for when the new update will be on console. I believe they have a new game that Stardew-esque on Game Pass where you are farming and building on an alien planet with Max that I want to check out. Oh, very cool. Let me know how that goes. All right, let's import these. Two operations in progress. What's the other operation? I do not know. My goal is to finish our built-in bookshelf this weekend. That is my goal. Um, only one thing left to do on fire. So the shelves are all done, but we want to put one board going across the whole thing, which ends up being like a 13 foot board. Um, 
So we are measuring my vehicle this evening to see if we can like stick it in and only have a little bit sticking out the back of the car. Um, and if it'll work, then we're going to Lowe's and we're getting it and then I can paint it and then put it up there and then we can fill it with knickknacks and stuff and then I'll be done. Hi, cats. You're being a lurky turkey. Because Hoser made a new album. I'm still watching the magic happen, but my ears are busy. Ooh. Enjoy the new album. If there are any songs that stand out to you that you want to add to that playlist, let me know. Um, but enjoy your new music. I appreciate the lurky turkey. I hope your week has gone well, cats. Okay, let's develop these. Yeah. Too sweet, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Boom. I really need to clean either my lens or my sensor and I hope it's my lens. I was like, don't tell me it was that out of focus, but no, it just needed to, like, blah, 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 Looks like censored you. No, Andy, no! Don't tell me that. Ugh. Ugh. I hate how, like, no matter how careful I am about the censor, it will still get stuck on it. Why, I implore you, Why? Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> Same. <laughs> You're too sweet for me, cats. I hurt you. You try not to go more than F8 if you can get away with it. So I tend to stick actually around, um, well, it depends on, I like F7 and F11, <laughs> but I was keeping my settings, um, well, I guess I didn't for this one, but for the most part, I was keeping my settings at ISO 400 because I had my film camera with me and I have to shoot that at ISO 400 um and I don't the meter doesn't work on my film camera so like I would just like basically mimic the settings from my digital camera so we'll see how the film turns out f16 and be there well hello popular rumple hitting the what was it 666 on the gram is that what I was understanding Congratulations, by the way. Hope your week has gone well. I don't need to increase the blues. So we're closer to 700 now. Let's go. Figured out how to check it. What do you mean? A uh, sky. It's just sky. Detect the sky. Did you detect the sky? Does it not highlight it? Okay.
You're being all lurky turkey too, one fire. Thank you for the lurk. Look at all of that stuff. Ugh. Hmm. It's not your post, but for some reason doesn't show you the numbers on the account that's in collab. But if I switch to my other account, I can see no Oh. So you can't view it as the person tagged in the collab post, but if you look at it as like a third party person, it shows you. That's dumb. What the heck, Instagram? So many dust spots for you to clean. Yay! It'll be so clean. Ugh. The, the sensor itself will be clean, and editing all of the dots out of these photos is going to be going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. That is weird. You have so much to look forward to. Yes. I'm overjoyed with anticipation. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yep. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, I do have to look at that tonight, though, because I'll be taking pictures tomorrow. I do like this. Hmm. Thank you for the stream streak. <laughs> but yeah, I missed the next one. The next one will be Monday. I don't stream this weekend. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy the music, cats. We're going to get rid of that in Photoshop. Kitty cat. Ugh. Gotta love it when you blink and something goes into your eyeball. Probably an eyelash. <laughs> Rip, I'm back to one. Must have slipped through your last one. <laughs> it's okay, Andy. It's okay. I felt bad because I saw you go live and I was like in meetings and then by the time I got out of stuff, you were no longer online and I was like... Mm. I missed an Andy stream. I'm at that weird hungry level where it's too early for dinner, but if I eat a snack, I won't want to eat dinner at a reasonable time. Just eat dinner early. Just be that person, and then you can snack later. It's Friday. You do you, boo. I think Bunnyville made the greens too... Too yellow. <laughs> ah, that was me just being silly. <laughs> just me being silly. <laughs> By streaming in the morning, not a great idea. You stream when it works for you, Andy. Two cookies is usually your solution, cats. Very nice. I am. Um, I tried eating carrots with hummus earlier and I just could not do it. It was just really gross to me today. I'm like, I can't. I can't do this today. And then I ended up having chicken Caesar salad, so. Whatever. Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. <laughs> Potatoes. I don't think I have cookies, but I do have the ingredients for cookies. I'm going to have to go look in the kitchen. Ooh. 
I should make cookies. I haven't made cookies in a long time. I haven't felt the inspiration to. Plus, it's just bad news bears whenever I do make the cookies, because I eat so many of them. It is not good. They're good. But they're not healthy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow. Looks like a like a fake sky. It's like I photoshopped a different sky in. I like it, Picasso. Is that from Toy Story? One of the Toy Stories. Ooh. My eyeballs are tired, I think, from reading. I'm getting old. Not that far down. Not that far down. You don't want to chop off the kid's feet. There. You budged. You... It's going to be too much. Fine. We'll do two. You're missing vanilla extract. You're also out of milk, so it looks like I'm going to go to the store and do a little bit of a cookie run. I should make a list. You're going to go on a, on a grocery store run tonight for the cookies, too? The motivation hit you, huh? Usually the grid goes away. There it goes. Yes, slightly. I haven't made had ho cookies, homemade cookies in a long time. By a long time, I made since December. I haven't had homemade cookies since you brought me those cookies last summer. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's the last time I had chocolate chip cookies that were homemade. <laughs> I did have cookies at Christmas time that, that my mother-in-law made. Hi, Yogi. How are you? Happy Friday. It's still Friday for you, I think. No. No. Did it just turn to Saturday not too long for you and Andy? In 10 minutes, it's going to be... Okay, in 10 minutes, this is going to be Saturday. Okay, I was like, it either happened 46 minutes ago or it's going to happen in about 14. <laughs> Still fry, yay. Woo! How was your Friday, Yogi? Uh, 14 minutes to go. Okay. I'm like, I knew it was one or the other. I was like, it either just happened or is about to just happen. <laughs> BRB, no worries, I'm fire. Uh, your Thursday was worse? 
Well, I don't like that. What happened yesterday? You're not going to bring down the vibe, but... Okay, what? You went to the doctors and they found a lump. They're not ruling out cancer at this stage. Oh, Yogi. Did they, like, biopsy it and you're waiting to find out? What the hell is going on in England? Waiting to see a surgeon? Yeah. Like, did you see the announcement? I'm sure you did, because you're there. But I saw the announcement from um, Catherine, Princess of Wales, today. And I was like, damn. Two members of the royal family at the same time? And now you, Yogi? What the hell? What's in the water over there? Be remaining positive, as you should. As you absolutely should. I ain't no royal bitch. <laughs> Am I, am I sensing that you are not a royalist, Yogi? Is that what I'm gathering by that statement? Why do I just imagine Andy sitting there like... <gasps> <laughs> Oh, wow, look at that. One fire played potatoes, like, ten minutes ago. Thank you so much, sound alerts. Hi, Blizz. Thank you for the water. Hmm. Go to the next one. I wouldn't say I'm not a royalist, but Harry and William News I keep an eye on. So you don't care for King Charles the <laughs> Third. Is is that it? I wouldn't be shocked. A lot of people don't. They're gonna go super blue on the sky and then we'll lighten up the shadows here. Yogi! You call the new queen a horse because Charlie Boy was riding her long before Diana? Got it. <laughs> T 
Team Diana. All right, since you keep an eye on the Harry and Williams stuff, what team are you on there? Just out of curiosity's sake, not for argument's sake, just curiosity. I have my opinions on the matter, but that's me. That's me and my American self over here. You know, the group of people that came up with all the conspiracy theories for where Princess... Sorry, Catherine, Princess of Wales has been. For the last several weeks. Can't trust an American. <laughs> you guys don't like Megan. Okay, then I think we're on the same side of things. She's too full of herself. Well, yeah, she's American. I just joke. Kind of. I believe that Megan has spun Harry round and round and telling him that spotting all that crap is a good thing for them, dragging him into her world. She's a social climber. She's using him. My biggest thing with them is the whole, like, we're leaving the royal family, we want more privacy, blah, blah, blah. And then they go and, like, they make, what was it, like, a Netflix show and stuff, and I'm like, and then Harry writes a book, and I'm like, look, that's all fine and dandy. I would give two shits less, except for the fact that they made the whole ordeal about them getting more privacy and people leaving them alone. And that's where I'm like, aren't you doing everything in your power to ensure that that doesn't happen? That's where I get confused. And you want to know what I hated? So I've been looking at baby names, right? Because I have to figure out, not I, but my husband and I are trying to figure out a middle name for our future daughter. And on a list of popular names for 2024, Lilibet showed up. And I'm like... And I don't know why that really annoyed me. We left them alone too well so that they have to do more look at me stuff. And I haven't read Spare. I haven't. I just don't see the point. Um, Because I strongly believe in the... In every story there's... Like... Party one's truth, party two's truth, and then, like, the real truth is somewhere in the middle. So I'm like, I don't know. I just don't see the point in reading Spare. This is what I mean, the Netflix thing and the book, etc., and saying that there were racial slurs but wouldn't name the person makes me think, did it really happen just to get eyes on the documentary? Or, like, the interview with Oprah. Was it Oprah? I think it was Oprah. Yeah, like, I heard that it came from Charles, and then I think there was somebody who claimed it came from Prince Philip, but then Prince Philip was deceased by then, and... I don't know. 
Is it possible that someone said something that could have been racist? Yeah, it's entirely possible. But who knows? Because I just have a hard time believing them on stuff. Two sides to every story. But I will say out of... Out of people's... Fiction that they make for themselves. There's a basis of truth. So who knows? Like, who knows? You know? Something could have happened and we just won't know what it is. I do like that in black and white. But I'll keep it color for now. This was at three. I want it back at three. Go back to three! But I don't believe that William would put Harry on the floor and out with Harry's army and rugby background. Oh, I don't know about that. Like, I don't know about that situation. But hey, I live in the real world. Black and white looks good there. I thought so too, but I'm going to leave it color in Lightroom, and then when I take it to Photoshop and clean it up and stuff, then um, I'll look at converting it to black and white there. What is this? The oh, hellos. Oh, hello. Would make a great minimal square black and white with a new mock long exposure sky. <laughs> I will consider that. By the way, if either of you have a song that you want me to play, let me know. I don't think I want to edit this one anymore. Like the other one of the waterfront better. Here comes another lighthouse one. That is very, very blue. Back to your point, I wish Kate and William all the best and hope she makes a full recovery. I hope so too. Based on the announcement today, it kind of sounded like... To me, it sounded like the cancer was removed, but she's undergoing treatment to make sure it doesn't spread or come back. He has fuck Charles. <laughs> what happens if I do this? How much are you gonna skew this? Actually, okay. But this one is not in focus, I don't think. Which means I'm not gonna add at it. Yeah, it's not in focus. Okay, goodbye picture. Permaband in 3, 2, why? Why would you be permaband? Freedom of speech and hoorah and stuff. Yogi. 
They are listening. They have no power here. <laughs> I'm just being dumb. Okay. What's up, kangaroos? <laughs> okay, Chessy, are you teaching me a new cool, a new cool lingo? Is that what is happening? Hi, Chesfi, how are you? How was your week? Happy Friday. Whoa. I kind of like the original of this one more. <laughs> nah, that's just a chesty thing. <laughs> it's been good? Good. Glad to hear it. Are you doing the farmer's market this weekend? Maybe I shouldn't up the texture. Kind of made that hard to focus on anything. You've been making an effort to do more after work. Been doing walking around downtown and some random nature trails. Good for you, Chespin. That's awesome. Are you taking a camera with you? But every time Camilla is on TV, I say to him, why is she riding in the carriage and not pulling it, Yogi? I'm sure she's a nice lady. <laughs> Might be doing some frisbee golf and biking when it gets warmer. Ooh. The farmer's market isn't until May. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but I will for sure be all over that. Got it. It's a seasonal thing. I guess it has to be a seasonal thing. With your winters. Okay, why did I like this before, but now I don't like it? What did I do? Um, like, I really liked it before, and now I'm like, uh. So what did I do to it that I don't like? Mom replied, I have no idea. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was a winning joke. I don't have a camera. I do bring my Pokemon. <laughs> you have the camera on your phone. I just joke. Do I want this to be more orange? Is that it? Is that my deal? What's my deal? What is my deal? You got your fish? It tastes so good. Glad to hear it. Do you just like order from like a local restaurant bar thing and then go pick it up? This is true. But if you are busy playing the Pokemons, then you do not have access to your camera. Anyway, moral of the story, check your balls and boobs, boys and girls and everyone else. Early capture is, is beer. <laughs> The alternative is better than the alternative. Uh, 
That is true. I think I like it now. Yeah, everything is walking distance. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Hold on, I just remembered something and I want to go check really quick. Were they on Discord? <laughs> Rumble. Okay, I like it, Picasso. <laughs> Thanks. Now, now I'll know. Where the reference comes from. But I just remembered that I meant to reach out to someone. But I've not seen them anywhere. Like they're not in the Discord that I thought that they were in. And I tried searching for them on Twitch and it looks like their account doesn't exist anymore. And now I'm going to worry. You don't have a car so you're used to walking everywhere? Like, no joke, we're selling one of our cars. We've had two, one for my husband, one for me. We're selling one to our his brother and his wife. Because, like, I just don't see the need for us to have two cars. And it motivates me to walk more because, like, I could use more walking. Not mean chicken wing. Like yesterday, I walked from my brother-in-law's house to my house. It only took 17 minutes. And I was like, why haven't I done this before? <laughs> it's not that far. You have returned. Do you have the materials to make the cookies? <laughs> Slay! <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, like, I'm tempted, like, if I need to go to the grocery store, because it's, it's kind of far, but I don't think it's terribly far. I've definitely walked further before. And I'm like, we have a wagon, because my mother had got this foldable wagon for our dog who had cancer before, so she could still go on walks without walking. I'm like, I could totally take that to the grocery store, get groceries, load them up in the wagon, and, and walk walk back home. Walking equals good. <laughs> you must be the only American I've spoken to that walks. Well, what's funny about that statement is that I didn't realize really like how much driving we do until I went to Greece and I had to walk a lot of places. And I was like, I should just walk more back home. Like if I can walk everywhere here, I can walk places at home. <laughs> So I had to go to a foreign country to get this realization. So there is that. Yes, I keep forgetting how expensive vanilla extract is. Four ounces for 20 bucks. If you, yeah, because you got the real stuff, right? Not like the uh, imitation vanilla. So long as you're not getting frozen. <laughs> Make sure you, or you can put a cooler in there. I do own a cooler. Get ice cream in July and walk home. And then I just have this melted tub of ice cream. It would refreeze though, right? I think. And my biggest has 364 pounds and I'm 287 pounds. Good for you, Yogi. I got the stuff that said vanilla extract. What do you mean? There's, there, yeah, there's fake vanilla extract. There's like imitation vanilla. And it's hella cheaper than true vanilla extract. But yeah, there's, there's... There's imitation vanilla. Mm. 
Whoa. That was a huge... It's definitely right, but I'm just like, wow, look at the difference in color change. Maybe a little yellow. Feels a little yellow. I bet this is white up here. Now am I back to the original? Okay, I don't know anything anymore. It's fine. I didn't see any of that shit. <laughs> Five and a half stones? Okay, English man. Okay, as it's now Saturday, I need my bed. Have a great weekend, everyone. Have a good night, Andy. I hope you have a wonderful sleep. I appreciate you being here. And have a good weekend. You can almost have your surgery you're waiting for. I didn't know you were waiting to have surgery. Not that, like, I'm claiming to know everything about your life. <laughs> um, but that's exciting. I'm assuming. No, we'll leave it. And get rid of that in the shops of photos. Admit it, you're obsessed with me. Why are you so obsessed with me? <laughs> I am, Yogi. I am. I'm obsessed with all of you. As in everyone in chat. By the way, Yogi, when are you going to stream again so I can make a clip so that when I do your shout out, a clip plays? Hmm? By the way, according to the grocery store end caps, it is s'more season, which means we need to have campfires and barbecues and burgers. Yeah. I'm down. I'm waiting for a double mastectomy. When I have a better PC. Oh, that's when you're going to stream. But Yogi. <sighs> that could be forever from now or tomorrow. I don't know. That answer does not satisfy me, sir. I guess this is straight. It's just... Won't be this weekend. I'm busy. Okay, alright. Social butterfly. I'm busy too. Kind of. I'm busy tomorrow. Not too busy on Sunday. I have no idea where the cat came from this in the next picture. Like, I'm looking at this picture and I'm like, where was it? Because I feel like there should be, like, a small glimpse of it. Is it there? We're zooming in. No. But I'm slightly concerned because that kind of looks like a shoe. It's not there either. So it must be behind this wall. I don't know. I will leave you wondering.
But why? <laughs> yeah, you are. We got Pokemons to do. We do? We do? Period. <laughs> we do now. Well, so tomorrow we're going to Millie's in the morning, one fire, um, if you would like to join. And then if the board will mostly fit into my car and only hang out a little bit, then we're going to go to Lowe's. But we're going to the zoo tomorrow with my in-laws in the afternoon. But Sunday... Sunday, I don't know. Hit copy and understood. <laughs> zoo, yeah! Yeah. And then Sunday, um, depending on how much I get done tomorrow with the board that's, you know, pending we can buy the board pending with, with my car, pending um, that, Sunday I'd probably just be painting that board so that we can have the built-ins done. Such a handsome cat. The truck is available for use. No, you need your weekend of rest. I am not interrupting your weekend of rest. I'm literally lining this up with the cat's pupils. You're talking like 10 to 20 minutes worth of work. Um, you and I both know that when it comes to house projects, nothing takes the amount of time that you think it will. Granted, this would just be running to Lowe's and buying the plank and bringing it home and then we would unload it, but we would A, have to find the plank in Lowe's, and then B, probably sort through planks and get the least warped one, because you know they always have some kind of bend to them. But no, you need recovery, you need rest. You get your recovery and rest. I told Warlock we weren't bothering you this weekend. Right, so if you buy one and you realize it doesn't fit, give me a call. Don't just return it or something weird. <laughs> okay. I see what you mean. Well, we might measure the car tonight and realize it just won't work at all. And then I'll bug you next weekend or something. So that you can have your weekend of... Relaxation and rejuvenation. Rejuvenation. English. Look at this kitty cat. This kitty cat was a good kitty cat. It came up to us for pets and lovin'. It was a very good kitty cat. I just like saying kitty cat <laughs> with like emphasis on all of the like hard letters. Kitty cat. Also, I swear to God, the room in my, my office, the room in my office, my office, this room, this whole room, I swear is the warmest room in the house. Like it is so warm in here. Like, I might have to just close the vent in this room. It's only got the one vent. And it shouldn't be the warmest room in the house. The warmest room in the house should be the room next to this one. Because that's the one above the furnace. 
Yet this is the warmest one. Uh, I think the heater is still on. I thought about turning it off, but I thought about this at like 10 p.m. last night. I'm like, what if it gets cold tonight? So then I didn't. Toasty. Yes, kitty cat. I made emotes of my pets a long time ago. But I haven't activated them because they're not woodland creatures. Plus, I don't have enough spots to do all of the pets. And I was kind of waiting until I had enough spots for all of them. Um... But yeah, I just haven't launched them because they're not woodland creatures. Is that silly? You do you, bugaboo? <laughs> Facts. Actually, I want to bring down those highlights a little. As much as I can, anyway. Because they are very hot. Not that one, this one. I don't know if I want to edit this one. I kind of like the chaos of the whole window and door. Yogi, if, there, if you're still there, I have a question for you. If you're not still there, that's totally fine, too. But we were speaking of royal family stuff earlier, and I thought of something. You're very much enjoying this music? Alright, I'll add this song to the playlist. It's called Orpheus. That was too much, too much, too much. Rotate back. Trying to make the world flat. What are you playing right now, then, One Fire? Oh, sorry. Try this one. So I think that's too purple. Oh, I think I chose the cloud and I liked that last time. So let's try that again. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, you're making cookies. I'm playing trying to get my butter, brown sugar, and sugar to combine. Do you have a like a KitchenAid mixer or something like it? Or do you make it all like by hand? Manually. I can't explain it, but whenever I see Freya sitting in the window, like, in front of the window and, like, looking out, it, like, completes my life. <laughs> it's, like, one of those little, like, I guess cottagecore moments that I strive for, and I'm like, yes. This is it. This is the life. You have a hand mixer that you got for Christmas, first time using it? So you don't have a big mixer? Those things are like $400. I don't bake enough to justify it. Yes, but what if, like, one of your besties is really good at finding deals on next door and stuff and finds you one for, like, 50 What about then? Hi, wifey. How are you today, Shy? Good to see you. How was your week? I would think about it. I'm picky about my mixers. I think my parents have an old one, but I hate the bowl. Hold on. I hate the bowl. Razy Lori cut. Hold on. Razy Lori. Raise. I'm trying to say it really fast, like how you would talk to your phone. A uh, uh, you hate the bowl, raise the cut. Raise the cut. But I hate the bowl, raise the cut. <laughs> Instead of just tilting it out of the way. You hate the bowl. <laughs> okay. The bowl raises and lowers out of the blades instead of the blades tilting out of the way. Oh. Oh, you don't like that? Okay. You're so busy, shy. Is it a good busy, at least? Or is it like, ugh. I'm so busy. Ew. Bad busy. Boo. Boo to the bad busy. No me gusta bad busy. Can I ask what you've been busy with? If you don't want to share, that's okay. That goes for any question I ever ask on stream. Like, if I ask you a question, you're like, I really don't want to answer that. Like, just say you don't want to answer it. I'm not going to feel bad. I get it. We're on the internets. Creepy things happen on the internets. Everybody has a right to privacy and keeping personal stuff. Normal work has been fine, but union work has been fucking draining. Oh. I would think it'd be the opposite. I've never worked for a union, though, so I have zero clue. We are going to interrogate the answer out of you. For, for real, for real.
But honestly, like, I'm nosy, okay? And I'm Midwest, and I'm conversational, so I'm going to ask questions and stuff. And so if you're ever like, hmm, Becca, no. Like, it's okay. I'm not going to be offended. What? You nosy? I've never heard of such a thing. Shut up! <laughs> People are just, uh like, it's mainly the people that are in the wrong and still decide to be an ass. Oh. Yeah. Those people are a lot of fun to work with. They bring so much joy to the world. I just don't like bullies, and this one I physically want to hurt. And yet, you can't. Because work forbids such things. God damn work. Exactly. <laughs> you just meet them after work. Off the clock. Cash me outside, how about that? I have no idea what that story is about. I just know the girl was on Dr. Phil and said that, but I have zero clue, like, why she said, cash me outside, how about that? No clue. I just know the reference. That sky in that one needs some work, but otherwise I like it. Well, Shy, I hope, I hope karma comes into play. Thank you for the water. Appreciate it. You have to work nine hours tonight? When do you sleep? Do you normally work night shifts? Yes, you do. So you sleep during the day. Got it. And it's triple payday. Whoop, whoop. That's good, at least. Get the monies. Oh, the more money is nice. <laughs> yeah, so my mom had a part-time job at Home Depot. Um... She now works somewhere else, but she had a part-time job at Home Depot. And when she got the job, she was debating how many hours she wanted to work. Because, like, if she worked only a few hours, she would still get, um, payment from my dad's work from his retirement. But if she worked too many hours, she wouldn't get that, right? She wouldn't qualify for that or whatever. Um... But then, like, she she ended up working more hours for, like, the health benefits and stuff. And then she got, like, her first paycheck when she had worked, like, 20 hours or something. She was like, oh, ooh. <laughs> and then, like, her manager started putting her on for, like, 35 plus hours. And at first she's like, I don't know if I can do it. But then she did several weeks like that um, and really liked those paychecks. And I was like... Yeah. But now she's doing admin admin work kind of things, I think, for a construction company. This would probably look really cool in black and white, I'm just saying. 
Maybe not. Okay. Freya, that is my keyboard that you just pressed a bunch of buttons on. Ma'am. Okay, how to undo what you did. I have no idea. What did you do? <laughs> Stop it. You don't get the grapevine. Can you undo what you did, please, Freya? She's trying to steal the two moldy grapes. Um, is it this? Okay, not that. Oh, no, no. What did you do? She seriously keeps clawing the grapes and pulling them out of the bowl, and then I just keep plunking them back into the bowl. Play with my hair scrunchy instead. Yeah. But if you could let me know how you did this, babe, I would... No. I'm just gonna keep clicking random buttons, I guess. Oh! Ooh! I didn't know this! Really? She found my pen that was sitting on my desk and was basically like, screw that pen. Okay, now how did I... Okay. There you go. Don't worry, Frey, I fixed it. Okay. I fixed it. Don't worry about it. I got it. Freya being a kitty, right? I guess she comes. Like, why do you get feisty at this time? It's not feeding time. We cuddle all day. Like, legitimately, though, we basically cuddle all day. Toasty, what are your plans for this weekend? Whoa. Go to the side. Ugh. Is it still that blue? I don't think so. Let me click on it. What is this blue? What is that? Like, why are the blues like that? What did I do? I have no idea. Please start your valley. Doing an animal farm with a new update. Very cool. Are you using the new, um, meadow farm? Okay, is something highlighted? Because blues are not hot. That's not being weird. Would you press on something else too? Kitty cat? <gasps> what? Hold on. I've been wondering how people do this. Look at that! 
Yeah, Meadow Farm gonna have a ton of goats. Yes. That's awesome. I wanna sneeze. Unless I could stop it. Hippopotamus, 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 okay. Look at that before and after, though. Ooh. Are you gonna change the one on the right, too? Okay. <laughs> Fuzzy pickle barking spider, are we trying to get you to not sneeze or hiccups <laughs> to not sneeze? You love this song so much? Okay. Add to playlist. Guys. The befores and the afters. I'm not even done going through these pictures yet. Change the after. There we go. <gasps> See, what is it doing? It's doing something. And I don't know how to... Is it this? Okay. Maybe that'll fix the blue issue on the other picture. But it was doing the highlights. I think. Very nice. I see other photo streamers do before and afters, and I'm, I made a mental note to myself once upon a time that I should do that, and then completely forgot about it until I just discovered that Y, my clicking Y on my keyboard, pulls this up, and I'm like, oh, what you look at that? Actually, this one... Maybe less yellow. Just by a hair. What else if I click this one? No. Okay. The song's nice. It's a bop. Chessman's gonna fire me. This one actually didn't change that much. That much. Oh, kitty cat. <laughs> Chessman, I'll just never be as cool as you. It's okay. It's something that I have to face with life. The days of me being cool are gone. I'm just an old millennial now that doesn't know how to use cool terms properly. I'm not with the times. I'm assuming you said I heard my name though. I honestly don't remember what I said either. 
I'm not gonna lie to you. Don't let your dreams be memes. <laughs> Okay, that's what it was. Now that the blue is not distracting me, let's try actually choosing the filter that I want. What if my dream is to be a meme, Chespy? Then what? Oh, hello. Hello, Mabel. Maple. How are you today? Happy Friday. This is not doing the preview thing. Fine, I'll just click on it. Maybe it's not that different from Bunnyville. That one's too dark. <laughs> Hope your week went well, Maple. You had my link copied for the shout out and I beat you to it. I actually shouted myself out in the family, the photo fam discord, in Ushla's discord, and in TLDA's discord. I was a good noodle and remembered to post in all of them today. Because normally I don't think about it. And then after stream, I'm always like, Oh, I should have done that. Go up here. Go up here to the burbs. I want to see the burbs. I don't know if I'll end up doing anything with this picture. It's okay. You were watching Shogun, so you're late to the party tonight. What is Shogun? Um, I have been banging my head against the wall with networking nonsense again today. You and your techiness, because I'm assuming, because last time you said networking stuff, I was like, what kind? And then you were like, techie kind. Um, what did you hyper-focus on today, Mabel? It's been so cold, though, so what else was I supposed to do with my time? Oh. I mean, not that, like, we live close to each other. But it was really nice here today, so hopefully that means it'll be really nice for you, like, in a few days. Like, it's been warm. Like, it had to have been 70 yesterday. What was the weather today? Um... <laughs> I just closed out of my Twitch tab on accident. I was like, oh my god, I just accidentally ended stream. No, I didn't. I just closed out of, like, my chat tab. That's funny. The amount of panic I just felt for, like, half a second was was major. Hi, Freya. It's a new miniseries on FX based on a novel. Oh! It's great so far. Like, what is it about? Did you just want cuddles? I can't edit pictures when I'm holding you, though. Yeah, do you want to... Here, do you want attention? Let's go to my just chatting screen, then. No, you want to go away now? Yeah, my hair. There you go. Tell us a story. Paint us a picture. <laughs> it's about Japan centuries ago. Very political and slow burn with some crazy moments. Oh. Please don't jump at the glass door again. Okay.
war is brewing it's wild like like samurai days or like what all right we're gonna leave that there but let's look at the before and after because now i know how to do that whoa okay that's fair Yeah, yeah, Samurai and Shogun. Do they have black powder yet, like rifles? Oh. Lots of cool old school Japanese tradition and tactics and stuff. I don't know a lot about Japanese culture and stuff, you know that? Like, very basic stuff, yes. Little piracy in there too, CS artillery and stuff from Portuguese and such. The Portuguese. I'm not gonna edit this one. And the Catholic Protestant warring plays a part. Huh. I mean, I never thought about it, but yeah, I guess it that would have taken place in Japan, too. In Catholic school, I mostly just learned about Europe and not Asia and Catholicism in Europe. It's worth just watching the trailer. <laughs> Noted. So closer to the end of Shogun era versus the height of... Versus the height of the Shogun era, era? Closer to the end of the Shogun era versus the height of the Shogun era. I think is what One Fire was saying. From the Googles. Shogun is set at the end of the Sengoku period. 1467 to sixteen hundred. Sengoku means the warring states and is used to indicate a period of incessant warfare among the warrior class. At the beginning of the 16th century, Japan was divided into countless domains, each run by warlords. Okay. Oh, it's... I never went and fixed it, One Fire. I don't know how to fix it. Or to... I guess, it, I guess it doesn't need fixing because it never existed, but how to get it to work. I don't know how to get it to work. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Also, I'm really warm. And my ceiling fan is on. I'm going to put my hair up. Get the AirPods in. Yeah, no, it never worked because I couldn't get it to work. So it doesn't really need fixing. It just still needs to be implemented. Did I stop the music? No, that song just ended. Okay. <sighs> yeah. You gonna attack me one of these times? Boop. Look at the camera. Look over there. Boop 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 boop. Boop 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 boop. boop. No? Mm. 
Yeah, you're feisty. You're feisty. Check my nail file that you turn on. She likes chewing on the snail file. It sits in my cup on my desk. Go. She's ferocious, can't you tell? So mean, so ferocious, a great hunter of her time, and now she's licking my arm. <laughs> oh no! There you go. Do you not want it anymore? But like, look. I don't know if you can see it, but you can definitely tell it's spun chewed on. Okay. Where are you going now? Basically, yeah. Do you want to say hi? Yeah? Do you want to say hello? Thank you. Thank you. You have an hour until it's dinner time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the kisses. Yeah. Thank you for the kisses. Yeah. Do you love attention? Yeah. Okay, I only have a few pictures left. Can I edit them? Or no? Thank you. Hmm? Are you going to allow me to? Thank you. You need to come up more though, so they can see you. Yeah, you need to come up more. Look, 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 look. Err, err. Mean golden. If you could sit in my lap and not block my entire view of my computer, I would let you. I would. Okay, get down. Thank you. Okie dokie. Back to the light room. Okay, trying to get the file. Here you go. Hi, do you believe in Jesus Christ? Hello, P-Boy 2001, do you believe in Jesus Christ? I'm assuming you do. There's enough evidence out there that he was a real person. Did I pray today? No, I did not. <laughs> um, 
The bidding of this picture is worth keeping. Thank you for the water, Blizz. Open your arms and welcome him. I will keep that in mind. I'll keep it for now. What does it look like before? This is not the one I want to combine. That's the next two. Blizz. <laughs> With a little sip sip emoji. It's kind of funny. I don't know if I like this picture either. There's not there's not enough going on in the foreground. In the foreground? Why do I say that like I'm southern? Like in the foreground? Okay, if I can get the mountain to show up in this one, then I don't need to blend the two together. Well, that's already better. My hair is falling out of my really bad bun that I put up. I see something. I like how that was it, and then they just left. I'm like, okay. Hmm. For the record, I don't have problems with religion. I just, I myself am not religious. But if you are religious, good for you. And I will support you in your journey.
That light post is all janky now, what I do? I just have to correct that in Photoshop. There's just a couple pens and a nail file on the floor now. That's... Thanks, Freya. Okay. So then I don't need this one? Or is this mountain still better? Actually, it's about the same. So I don't need this one. Okie dokie. Then let's export these. I'm just gonna pull you back over here while I go to the correct folder. Grease. Shania. Cause I looked up how to say it today. I was just wondering where you were. Drive safe, Warlock. I was supposed to say PSDs. I feel like I did that in another folder, too. You're finishing your Disney pad. Looks amazing. Nice. Did you take pictures? I guess I could just, you know, come to your store sometime and look at it. Oh no, I can't really, not without you. Because <laughs> I only have one car now. Custom name. Shania. Or Shania, sorry. I used to say it Shania and then I looked it up today and it's Shania. Shania. Export. Only 18 photos from that day that I kept. Oh boy. How picky am I becoming? That's a question. Okay, let's see. While that is exporting, let's go to the theater and give people shout outs who have been here today. And then we will read out. All right, well, for some reason, his name's not coming up, but he was here earlier. Around the image. Uh, <laughs> Ow. No more photography till Thursday. <laughs> Did he hit his funny bone? Um, that is Andrew S. Gray, also a.k.a. Andy. Um, he does photography streams on Tuesdays, but also streams some other days. Uh, he focuses on ICM photography, which is in-camera movement, um, and gives his images, like, that impressionistic feel if you are into art. Um, yeah, please give Andy a follow. He's a really, really nice person. Everybody that I follow is really nice, okay? I don't follow mean people. Chessman's got skills, yo. What game was that? Was that Warframe? The thing that Frosty Tools is talking about? Chespia is the chill homie of the 21st century, just vibing and diving into the world of Warframe with a casual approach. They might be a self-proclaimed noob in the game, but they're all about that friendly, laid-back gameplay. Sadly, no save broadcast to watch back on their epic Framing Wars adventures, but you can bet it was a good time. Shinobi Striker? So is that like a side game in Shinobi Striker? Capture the flag. 
Looked like Kakashi, very fancy. I really hope I'm saying all these words right. <laughs> I gotta get some more recent clips going. Yeah, you do. You gotta stream. You gotta turn on those bods. Come on, just be. <laughs> yeah, one of those modes. Got it. Um, guys, if you hang out here, then you know Chespy, a.k.a. Chesswinlover771. Um, Chesswin and I are, like, IRL friends. And if that's not enough to convince you, um, they're a badass at, like, every single game that I've seen them play. So give Chesby a follow. Almost give Chespin a second shout out. I'm like, no, we need to go shy. <laughs> Becca, you can get off the floor. You don't have to say why. Every fucking time I finally get the deer with the fucking chili pepper and I lose. I risk it all. Fuck you, deer. Fuck you. You wanna know why? You wanna know why? It's fuck you, dear. I risked everything for you. I had a motherfucking shark, bitch. You were supposed to hold it down for the shark. I was not expecting the clip to involve me in it. Um, um but that's Shy. <laughs> Shy is a variety gamer. Um, Shy is the one that organizes all of, like, the, um... Goose Goose Duck games that I sometimes partake in. Um, overall, cool person. She is my Twitch wifey after all. Um, let's see what Frosty Tools says. Shy the Brat is a shy but cheeky Capricorn girl who loves to game and chat with friends in her cozy corner of Twitch. She's all about that chill vibe with a side of bratty humor and 18 plus shenanigans. Last name celebrating Denzel Crocker Day on Fortnite. She's a master of chaos and a safe space for all. Tune in for laughs, good times, and maybe even some goose-related content. <laughs> but yeah, I used to... When something, like, overwhelmed me that something that somebody said, like, whether it was a streamer or somebody in chat, I used to, like, put, like, in italics, sleaze on the floor, and now I just have my oofda emote that I use. So that's why she was like, you can get off the floor. <laughs> I feel ashamed for not following until now. Don't feel ashamed. It's never too late to make new friends. Let's see who's next. I just go through the alphabet because that's the easiest thing for me to do. Let's give myself a shout out. Oh, yeah. That's that's awesome. Oh, but bum and Beck, you did not appear before, so I'll give you a shout out now. go. That was satisfying. It was rude. Twitch, like, did not show you, show your username when I did the bees. Um... Guys, that's Bun Bun Beck. That must have been an older stream. Like, it's in the same room, but you weren't wearing bunny ears. Um, so is that when you were Beck Raven Wings? Every time I hear myself, I have that little ease moment of, is that my voice? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I love it. I'm for his new group. Um... But yeah, that's Bun Bun Beck. Uh, Beck sometimes plays video games on stream, sometimes does crocheting streams. Um, she just finished a stuffy yesterday uh, named Mango. That is a little cute otter. Um, and one day I will be able to show it off here on stream because it is, it, it's, it's for me. <laughs> right at the beginning of, of your Bun Bun era. Got it. Got it. Very cool. Uh, where was I? M? I think I was on M. Vinci Resolve. Da Vinci Resolve. Why don't you give it a try, Da Vinci Resolve? Try it out 
and watch your life improve because you're not spending a bunch of time reopening a program that hates you. Why don't you just give it a try? <laughs> That's Maple Glades. <laughs> Apparently doing a free Da Vinci Resolve ad for them. Um, by the way, he's also an opera singer. So, yes, his voice is amazing. Um, but also does photography, also does videography, also, like, hyper-focuses on technology stuff and is, like, one of the smartest people that I know. Like, whatever. Um, but if you like some chaos and some education, give Maple Glades a follow. That makes you very happy. Good. I'm glad. Maple's awesome like that. Oh, I know why. I think it's because I had to, when I accidentally closed out of my chat, I think it, like, dropped some people off of, like, the ats list or whatever. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but anyway... Those are the shoutouts that I have to give today. Um, thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. We are going to raid out, so please don't go anywhere. I just have to find who we're raiding. Um, I am not streaming this weekend. Uh, so next stream will be on Monday at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Is anybody streaming photography? Um... It's No Ponky's birthday. Hold up. We're going to raid No Ponky because it's No Ponky's birthday. All right. We're going to go wish No Ponky a happy birthday. Please come along and please wish them a happy birthday. I'm going to keep saying it, I guess. Um, What is No Ponky playing? Just chatting right now? Okay. I don't know what No Ponky is going to be up to tonight. Um, Please come along for the raid and wish them happy birthday. Um, otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and don't forget to touch grass, hug trees, and stay a safe distance away from wildlife. All right. Love you all. Bye.